Shavua Tov, Avotevoch. I'm going to tell story number 62 of the Shibche Abel Shem Tov. Stories of the Belshem Tov from the earliest and most trustworthy recorded um, compilation of his stories. Avaras Shoichet Mitavkide. This is the story, and basically the title is a spoiler of how a Shoichet was kicked out of his, removed from his position, no longer allowed to work as Shoichet. I assume for the context of the story, although it's not explicitly said at the beginning of the story, that this is heard from Rab, uh, Yaakov Yosef of Polnoy. Certainly he is quoted as the, the man to whom the story happens, um, so I will assume he is the one who passed it on to the author. There was a story of a man who was a shochet, the one who does the ritual slaughter for a kosher meat, and he was a, a light-minded, like frivolous, he, he was not a person who was very uh, much into details, and a, a shikor, he was given into drinking, he was a drunkard and uh, usually a person who is too much into drinking tends to be that they, they cannot pay much attention to what they're doing the alcohol keeps them uh, away from being able to perform certain duties with great meticulous rigorous detail as is required for shochet so oh here is a story one once i um happens to me. So the story has been as it's been coming from the mouth of Rabbi Yaakov Yosef of Polnoy. The Rav Yaakov Yosef of the community of Polnoy in the morning after the Shachris prayer, after the morning prayer, that the Belshemtov called me, meaning Rav Yaakov Yosef, to a certain uh, room and said to me, no, I'm sorry. The man who's telling the story says, Rabbi Yaakov Yosef called me, he tells me, I saw the Baal Shem Tov, and he was very insistent with me, the Baal Shem Tov was very insistent with Rabbi Yaakov Yosef, that he needs to be careful with the inspection of a shochet, how to judge, how to inspect, how to make sure that a shochet is doing his job a proper way. And I cannot explain in detail what was he revealing, I mean, says Rabbi Yaakov Yosef. He revealed certain special details I cannot even explain, but um, you have to be very, very careful on how you inspect a shochet to make sure they're doing every detail that they're supposed to be. We know that the uh, Balshentov in another story is extremely careful about the knife you use for shechita. He does not accept a single knife in a certain town and they have to bring a knife from another town until finally they find the one that he finds acceptable. So the Baal Shem Tov is very, very careful with this, and now he, he, told, he tells Rabbi Yaakov Yosef, who is telling the author of the story, be very, very careful when you judge a shaykhet. So I guess it's happened to the author, to Rabbi to Rab the author. So once, I um, was coming after I judged uh, or I inspected the non-Jewish uh, butcher workers. Uh, when there are non-Jewish butcher uh, workers in a kosher butcher, you have to make sure that they are doing the job as it is, you inspect them, but the special emphasis of the, of the ashgach, of the supervision, is on the quality of the shochet. So, continue saying, Rav Yaakov Yosef, the phone told me, to inspect the um, the shochet in a specific detail, and, um, and and so I did, as is to be now described. The Rav Zichron of, of blessed memory, Rav Yaakov Yosef, was very very careful not to affect the parnasa of a person, meaning a, the the source of living of a person, so we try to make sure that a person continues to work and have has their suits, you know, sustenance. 
So they had kind of overlooked the work of this shochet for that reason, to make sure he continues to have a parnasa. But now, after the Valchant of uh, warning or insistent, this shochet was caught, was discovered, doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing overlooking some very important part, they don't mention which it is, so he was brought to a best in, they call a best in, um, that determines in a, in a rabbinic court that this shochet really is not doing the job he was supposed to be doing. Now, if his shita is considered treif, meaning it's not acceptable and is, is completely not acceptable, by uh, Jewish law, according to the Shulchan Aruch, he needs to be removed from his position. The place quoted here, the uh, editor of the book in Kfar Chabad writes um, that in uh, Shulchan Aruch Yoredea, Siman Base, Sif Base, that's the, the place for those who want to actually go and look it, that Shoichet, uh, um, who is um, basically not shecht and proper, he's shecht and trefos, he's doing the improper way, he needs to be removed from his position. So, as the best they inspected the shochet and found that that was the case, at the insistence of the Balshem Tov Telim Rav Yaakov Yosef, this shochet was ousted from his position. Later on, in another story, and probably a year from now we'll get to it, uh, there is, I don't know if it's the same story with more detail, another story in which the Balshento gets involved to remove a Shochet from his position for that very reason. Probably it's another case of the same, that a man who is not doing his job in Shechita properly, the Balshento would make sure, even though a Jew should have a Parnassah, he is affecting the Kashrus, the, the quality of what other people are eating according to Torah law, therefore he should not be in that position. We should only have a shochet who is Yir Shamaim, who is a fearful of heaven, and who is very meticulous and careful in how he performs the shechita, the ritual slaughtering of the animals. And so is tonight's story. Shavuot Tov, and good Tevoch.